What are those black little round sawdust looking things against my foundation or in my window seal? Termite droppings, that's what. Did you know that most of the time you'll never really see a termite, you'll only see their calling card. That is, their little fecal droppings. In the spring is when you'll see most of the droppings as they're just waking up from their winter snooze. Some people call them white ants, you may see the droppings but you won't see the termites. Termites cause an estimated $5 billion worth of damage yearly and you don't want to be part of that. With a little knowledge of knowing what to look for you have a chance of safeguarding your home and property before it is too late. Remember to look for the termite droppings. Here are signs that you might have termites. 1. A swarm of winged insects that can be in or around your home and they can also come from the soil around your house. Look for them in the spring. 2. Look for cracked or paint that looks blistered or bubbling, a good place to look for termite droppings. Three wood that sounds hollow when you tap on it could indicate termite activity. Four look for termite tubes or tunnels on exterior walls or you may find them on wooden beams in the ceiling or floor beams. You may find them in crawl spaces under your house as well. Five if you see discarded wings from termites that may be an indication you may have termites. By the way just seeing the discarded wings does not mean the bugs are dead. Termites shed their wings before they go boring into the wood and make their colony. Termites flourish in damp environments where there's a lot of wood. Here are some tips that could help you reduce your risk of getting termites. 1. Keep leaves out of gutters and other debris such as small branches. Your gutter downspouts should drain with no restrictions. There should be a space of at least 3 feet from your house. Two. Don't keep wood close to your house such as firewood or wooden building material. Any kind of wood is like a termite magnet. 3. Keep in mind termites don't need a big opening to get in your house. A crack the size of the edge of a penny or less could be enough to let them in. So seal all the cracks they may be used to gain entry such as cracks in the foundation or utility openings. Pay attention to doors and windows termites like to get in there too so cock up the cracks and joints. 4. Keep an eye on the places in or around your house that have a tendency to stay wet or damp where the wood comes in contact with the structure. Last but not least, termite droppings look like tiny hard, little round balls some say they look like grains of sand. The color may range from black, yellow, or tan, it depends on the kind of wood the termites have been eating. For amazing information about all kinds of pest control, go to www.ojac.com or click the link in the description below.